With just a short time remaining before the regional judging kicks off, teams give it all they've got to bring their ambitious lunar plans to life. In preparation for the first round of judging, Future City teams have a list of deliverables that they have to prepare. This list includes a city essay, a slideshow of their city model, a video presentation, and a detailed project plan. As we experienced with our own team back when we competed, these deliverables are super important in communicating your vision of the future to the judges. To get a better sense for exactly what the judges are looking for, I checked in with Future City Program Coordinator, Jake Williams. Hi, Jake. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having me. Now, what is your role in the in Future City competition and how have you been a part of the organization? I am the program coordinator for the Future City competition. I support the Future City program manager in um, organizing and facilitating the Future City finals. And then throughout the year, we also support the local Future City regions and regional coordinators who run the program um, all around the country and all around the world. Before I worked for Future City, um, I was actually a student participant. I'm an alum of the program. So even though I've only been participating as a program coordinator for four years, since I was in eighth grade, Future City has been very important to me. So I'm really uh, glad that now it's something I get to do every day as my, my full job. How does judging work for Future City? We have judges for each of the Future City deliverables. Um, so as, as some people may know, there's a, a city essay, there's a city model, there's a presentation, there's a Q&A, but we've changed around the way that the model is judged this year. Instead of presenting a physical model, teams have created either one single model or a lot of model segments, and they've put them together into a slideshow that then the judges review and, and score from that rather than looking at the actual model itself. On top of that, we also have, instead of an in-person presentation that teams will do, teams have filmed video presentations that show off components of their city that they've created. And then there's a live Q&A that's happening over Zoom. We've gotten to see a different kind of creativity from a lot of students who have made these really impressive videos to show off their cities in all kinds of very creative ways. And do you have any uh, advice for future city students who are preparing for the regional judging round? I would say try to relax if you can, try to have fun with it if you can, because uh, if you think of it as an opportunity to, to show off your work, what you've done with building a future city and thinking about a future city and designing it, creating it, writing the essay, making the model, that's really impressive. It's a, a fun um, thing to do when you're thinking about it as, you know, kind of showing off a little bit. Let's, let's, let's tell these folks about why it's so cool to live in, you know, this city we, we created out of nothing. So the finals, um, at award ceremony is going to be live streamed on April 7th. Um, so if anybody uh, can tune in and watch, see the announcements about um, the winning teams, um, all the special awards, um, some other kind of exciting um, surprises. Uh, so it's going to be a really, really cool event. That's going to be April 7th. Well, now that we have a much better sense for what the judges are looking for, let's check in with our student teams as they rush to complete their cities. I think the process went well. And I think a huge part of that was like all the extra measures that we took. We have a way to get food, a way for people to get to work, places for people to get to work. We really focused on making sure that if like we were to live in the city, we would want to be there. So if other people were to live in the city, they would want to be there too. We had included so many like unique elements that I don't think you'll find anywhere else and we work together really well as a team and we've just had a lot of fun. The like model and the essay and the video, like the quality of all that stuff, I think shows that we didn't rush it. We really took our time with it. We really thought it through um, and we were very prepared um, for like, for the Q and A. And I think that um, our like hard work is going to like show. 
One of our moving parts was a fan, so we had a test to make sure the buildings could withstand the pressure from the wind hitting the buildings. It's important to test your models because uh, let's say that, like William said, our fan, um, it, had, it was too strong and it just destroyed our home water right when we turned it on for the judges, judges to see it. That would not look very professional to the judges and we wouldn't get as high of a score. But if we tested it beforehand and figured that out, we could lower the voltage for the fan or just get a um, fan that's not as strong. You have to do trial and error so then you can always improve something. Even if like we might not always agree or feel the same way about what we're going to finish with, we need to realize that we're all gonna finish together and we're gonna reach our goal. So tomorrow at 10.30, we'll have our first round of judging. Three of our teammates will be answering the questions of the judges and the other three will be supporting those presenters and through about their live Q&A session. To prepare for the judging, we've been answering some practice questions that were in the manual. Now we're just trying to get them to be more flowing and memorized. Me, Harry, and Serbi will ask Lucas, Syria, and Seju the Q&A questions, and then they'll answer the questions, and then we'll offer them feedback so then they can improve on their speech. I'm feeling very confident in my teammates. I think I'm very optimistic about tomorrow, and I personally think they're gonna do a fabulous job. I don't know, I just feel, I just got goosebumps all over my hand. I'm I'm shaking, because this is supposed to be like the biggest moment of our team and our progress as, as Suki City as a whole. So I'm, I'm excited and nervous. Incredible work, teams. Next stop, judging. It's all happening next week. See you then.